What Pokemon is it? Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. Pity it's a male, but I feel like the name will work anyway. Toxel is called Skull. Right. Come on now. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop Chop, come on now. You and, Ro you and Rotom ride that bicycle together. Okay, that was cute. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Last episode we made it through the recent route and got to Holberry. And today we are going to be exploring the town and taking on Nessa in the gym t today. So I hope you guys look forward to it. I was told that there's some really fun dialogue in this game, but we're going to have to find out what that is later on. Our sincerest apologies, the chairman is quite busy at the moment. Please, everyone dis disperse. Na See you later, chairman. What is... Is that Chairman Rose? Why does he have a dad bod? He's got a beer belly. Like, you know Chairman Rose likes to drink in his, his off time. No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Rip. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. Chasing, chasing them off like that? Aren't you being a little bit too harsh? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work, for their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, so we have a little brown noser here. You won't be a b having the same attitude when I beat you later on. Oh, and you were? That's hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't even know who he is, and he was endorsed. He endorsed this guy. That's right, I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. How old is this kid? I thought you needed to be 10 to go on an adventure. This guy... Are these guys actually teenagers in Sword and Shield? Or are they still supposed to be 10? Will you be the one to win the, win the gym challenge? Or perhaps you will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? I will prove your... Faith in me what's well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. You've already lost to me, like, a billion times. Anyway, I will be on my way now. Bye. Oh, it's me. Ah, your name was Jess, right? See, he knows who I am because I'm obviously more important. We were just talking about you. I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. It's mostly because his brother pressured him into it. Ah, I just had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I will hold a celebration. I'd like to get to know you a little better after all. Yeah, but you still have a dad bod and you're dressed kind of bad. So I don't want to get to know you. Plus you're a little bit too old. German, we really should be going. Yes, listen to Aliana. Please do your best for the sake of Galar's future. Uh, oh, okay. Bye, Dad. The chairman will be heading to this town seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Well, you're just a, like, bossy person, aren't you? Okay, so, is this like the seaside town? It does really remind me of, I would say, like Brighton and uh, Blackpool, basically anywhere that has a pier. Maybe Plymouth as well? Really nice. You found a shell bell. Okay, that's cool. Did I take one of these boats out? I really want to go uh, sailing. Nothing that way. Okay, let's just explore gradually. 
I don't want to get too far around and not be able to explore everything or forget to explore everything like I have done in the past. Pokemon Center looks exactly the same. Let's chat to this red-headed guy. Why is Dynamax possible only in Galar? Even Professor Magnolia doesn't know why. In one of my earlier episodes, I slipped up and called Professor Magnolia, Professor Mongolia. That's my bad. I think I edited it out, but I'm not too sure. I might keep it as a blooper reel if I did. It is no exaggeration to say that Chairman Rose developed Galar as it is today. So he's the chairman of a entire region. Interesting. Very interesting. No, I don't need to heal what... Okay. It's a Pokemon standard. It's pretty box standard. Oh, I can go in these houses. That's pretty cool. Hey, Bunnelby. I have Champion Leon's lead card too. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. I can't go in the back room. Kind of like that place in... What was it? West Deep City, where there's a door to a black back room you can't go in. I remember when Professor Magnolia first presented her findings on the Dynamax phenomenon, the whole Galar region was in such a spin. As in, like, dancing or just confused? Wow, you look so happy. Not a single bite today, but I still need to polish my gear. I mean, Pokemon are bound to bite if my gear is nice and shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still. Talking of shinies, I really want to find at least one shiny during this playthrough. I might even consider using it on my team. Oh god, it's the evil twins from The Shining. Have you guys ever watched The Shining? Such a messed up movie. I remember the first time I saw it, uh, I had nightmares for quite a long time. I was only eight or something, so it's kind of an, it's kind of expected, but still, don't watch movies if you're really young like that. It's it will mess up your head. If any bad guys come, our Pokemon will protect us. This thing. This thing isn't going to do anything, so to break it to you. I just saw a sparkle, I will pick that up in a second. Don't catch too many Pokemon, they... That will deplete the sea life. Oh, is this a little dig at, uh, fishing? A good fisher is also a good Pokemon trainer. That's because a fisher has to make quick judgments to adjust changes in the sea. Right. A full heal. Okay, that's useful. I've got high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger, of course. Well, you only really meant it when you said to me, right? You didn't mean it to any of those other people. Please say you didn't mean it. I thought we had something. Okay, that was my attempt at being funny. That's as far as my humour goes, so I apologise if that was more cringeworthy than anything, guys. It's hard to tell if a whooper is female or male. Can you do it? Yo. Garso. Teehee. Well, just judging by their things, it, I guess this is a female one. Things I meant speech bubbles. Yeah, I think I got it. Do I get a prize now? Nope. Okay, fine. On to the next house. I see a little blonde boy. Everything my mom cooks is yummy, and everything at a restaurant is also yummy. You're a child. Everything will please you. Oh, I love how their expressions change when you look at them or something. They just smile. It That's actually pretty nice. 
If the gym leader is too weak, the gym will be relegated to the minor division. So it's like the football league in the UK. Like if teams don't get a certain number of points, then they go down to the league uh, below. I haven't followed football in years, so I have no idea which teams are doing well and which are doing badly right now. And um, that's just a Pokemon. Still not selling cloister cards, I see. Being on a train can be boring. I wish I could battle on the train. I heard that you can battle on a subway train in the faraway Uni Unova region. Or Unova region. Even if you don't actually battle, simulating different battle strategies in your mind can be fun too. I guess. I'm not really into like just strategizing and competitive uh, thoughts when it comes to battling or anything like that but to each their own I guess I remember when I did the gym challenge I never did get the water badge Ness is really stoic about Pokemon she's made her gym mission really tough oh this is the one with the waterfalls don't know much about it but a lot of people hate this from what I've seen for some reason so I'm going to have to see what all the fuss is about soon. Five net balls. That's just asking me to fish here considering there are four spots. Okay, let's see what I can get. Hopefully something good. Oh, it's an Aracuda. These things are actually pretty good from what I've seen. Super fast and super offensive and they can learn so many good moves. Maybe I should catch one for later on if I ever want to use it. Let's see. Avocado was caught. Okay, this thing looks like a dart or a like the when you go fishing there are these uh, bait things you can get where the tail spins. It looks like one of those. So let's call it a uh, spinny for now. It's a bad name but I can change it later if I feel I found a better name for him. Or her. But I don't want it in my party right now, so let's just take him out. Okay. Galar is a huge island. Lighthouses have always been really important in helping ships find their way. Why does Nessa love the lighthouse so much? Is she one of these people that gets attracted to inanimate objects? It does happen, it's very weird. If you haven't heard of anything like that, I suggest looking it up because it's quite amusing. This is a statue of the Pokemon that's said to have protected the lighthouse. Oh yeah, we saw this thing in a trailer and a lot of people thought it was a statue of the legendary or uh, just dark silhouettes of an actual Pokemon, but this guy is ac actually Toxitricity, one of the Pokemon that I want to use. And there are two forms, there's, uh, I believe it's High Energy and Glow Amp. Uh, the High Energy one is a lot better, so I hope I get that if I ever um, evolve Toxel. And here's the fish lady herself, Nessa. You must be a gym challenger, right? How did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You've become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you go, Miss Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Gotta say, the character designs in this game are so good as well. I think probably the best character designs in the entire 
history of Pokemon, to be honest. You put the lead card in your album. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Yeah, same. So then I can actually start catching stronger Pokemon. I know I probably said this a few times already, but I apologise if there are like long periods of silence or I sound awkward or anything, but I'm still getting used to the whole let's play thing and talking just in a room on your own into like a microphone is kind of strange, so I'm just trying to get used to it still. So just bear with me guys, hopefully I get better in time. And let's go into the gym. Oh, it's a weird, weird ball guy again. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat. I see you have a fishing rod. In that case, I've got a perfect Pokeball for you. Oh, is this a dive ball? Or net ball? Low ball, okay. That's not what I was expecting. I believe that's a throwback to Gen 2 as well. A Pokeball that is good for catching Pokemon that you reel in with a rod while out fishing. If you manage to catch a Pokemon using your fishing rod, then it's time to use that lure ball. <laughs> oh my god, he's dancing. That That is a, such a drunk dad dance. I might upload that if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's the absolute best Pokeball for people who like Pokemon that live in the water. Pokeballs are full of surprises. Yep, sure. And... Let's talk to you. Went to Dynamax. It might be a good idea to think ahead about which Pokemon is able to withstand ne Ness's max moves. Why do we have to figure out a puzzle just to face the gym leader? Maybe it's to tell us trainers that we need to have some mental flexibility. No, it's just what's always been done in Pokemon games, except this is on a bigger scale, I think. Hey there, Gym Challenger. Shall we start the process to get you ready for the gym mission? Let's do it. That's right, you'll have to change into your uniform. The changing room is located over there. I'm ready for sports. I'm gonna say that at the start of every gym battle. Sorry in advance, guys. Alright, you're in your uniform. Head on into the gym mission. By the way, while you're on the gym mission, you can't use your Pokemon Box Link. Okay, that's fine. That actually makes this a little more challenging, but then... Yeah, I guess it does because previous generations you could leave and come back in. And this one you can't change Pokemon mid-gym, which... I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, but... We'll have to see how I feel about it later on. The whole Berry Pokemon Gym's mission is this. A challenging maze and you must reach a goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing that red button over there and I might imagine you'll figure it out you to champ. Now, let the gym mission begin. Okay, I'm really, really bad with puzzles, so this is probably going to take a long time. Um... I should have put another member of my team, but I think it's okay. I think these guys can handle this, as long as nothing carries any ice moves or fighting moves. Welcome to Holbury Stadium, ready to bask in the beauty of water type moves. Water types are one of my favourites, actually. Tim Paul, okay. My boy Inari. I really like Devo's design so much. It's so simple, but it's such a good design in my opinion. Like you might, you guys might disagree. A lot of other people might disagree, but I really like it. I think a lot of the Gen 8 Pokemon have really nice designs as well. Okay, let's try pressing this. This should be an easy enough puzzle. I mean, the game's designed for kids to play, so... 
Now we press this one, I think. And the red one again. The stadium looks nice, actually. Let's go and battle this trainer here. I probably don't need the experience, but I just like to battle team trainers because I feel like from the old days you only had one chance to battle them, so it's just habit, I guess. Okay, let's just snarl at this crab. It's a solution to all of life's problems. Just snarl at everything. And you'll overcome the challenge. Joker leveled up and Crow leveled up. That's nice. Corfish. Hmm. I quite like Corfish. I want to try using new Pokemon if I can, but... Hullfish is tempting. And we've got a special attack drop. I've been doing a lot of bulk recording for this game, so this episode uh, probably comes out around two weeks after I recorded it. That's how much I've done. And I don't have the best editor either. Well, I sound really like professional when I see that. The editor I have is just my boyfriend. Like, he's good at what he does, but it's just a case of we are both really busy people, so it takes was a while to get the episodes edited and this is what I was talking about with the puzzles it's I'm useless with puzzles like I don't know how I'm gonna do this is that it? no I need to remove those ones now and that doesn't help this is a game designed for kids and I can't even figure this puzzle out. I told you guys I'm useless at puzzles. So do I have to go all the way back here and pull... Nope, I can't do that. Okay, there we go, I think. Oh no, that's... Is there one... No, that's fine, I can go up here. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of like jump cuts in this one because not to sound like a broken record I'm horrible with puzzles What? You made it this far and you want to battle me? Of course I do, I need that experience Gym Trainer Lin Oh, Remoraid from this game, that's Pretty interesting, I had no idea. And it tanked it, okay. That's pretty annoying. Please don't have Aqua Jet. Good. Is Aqua Jet still in the game? I don't, I can't remember. And a Tootle. This thing is actually so weird. Like, its head is way too big and it just looks really... I know I said a lot of the Gen A Pokemon have really good designs or all of them have good designs. I take it back about Tootle. I think it's really bizarre and to be quite frank it's kind of ugly. Its head is way too big and its body is way too small, it just doesn't look good. And we got two more level ups here. Okay, that m must be the last gym challenger I think. Okay, um... Oh no. 
Okay, so that does that side, but that doesn't release anything, I don't think. I feel like I need to get to the blue one. Okay, I finally managed to figure it out, and as it turns out, it wasn't that difficult. I'm just not very smart. So, let's just go into here, and we can beat Nessa now. Well, it's okay. Still never gonna get over how atmospheric uh, the gym battles are now. An entire crowd cheering for you is kind of epic. They look like 2D models, but I think they are 3D. But I'm not an expert on game design, so I could be mistaken. Welcome on a gym challenger. I think you already realise, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No, I actually actually struggled with that for a long time. <laughs> no matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Music is pretty epic too. Nessa sent out Goldie. Not going to Dynamax just yet because she's got three Pokemon, so I don't want uh, to lose the Dynamax before she goes into hers. You set up an agility, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's go Snarl. And I one-shot the fish. And the crowd is cheering for me, that's just amazing. Aracuda? Nope, we're gonna keep uh, this boy in. Now I think I will dynamite and go Max Darkness. I also feel like I should change my hair and clothing after every gym battle as a way of celebrating. What do you guys think? Look at this big box. Okay, Aqua Jet is in the game. Ouch! I feel bad for that fish. That must have hurt. And Dreadnought. Nope, I'm gonna keep him in. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Are you gonna Dynamax too? Cheering kind of reminds me of the chanting in the Alolan Marowak dancing in Alola. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Dynamax. I wonder if it's possible to change the way you throw Pokeballs in this game. I like that feature in Sun and Moon where you could do different uh, throws, I think it was kind of cool. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting it to. And I got a Spideff drop too. This is a little gift for us, I hope you can take it. Nope, I think Inari is dead unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Oh no, he tanked it. I guess I need to stop underestimating just how okay his special defense is. 
Let's go on Max Strike. This thing has Swift Spin. That's kind of annoying. And now Inari is dead, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. You did well. Wait, that's not going to work. This thing is Water and Rock. That's my bad. I guess I could go payback. If Crow lives this and this is gonna uh, knock him out I think. Nope. Wow, this thing is actually a tank. And now it's tiny again. Now we can have a fair fight. Never mind, Go is down as well. Okay, time for the MB MVP, my main guy. My angsty teenage child. This shouldn't do much. That did more than I expected. That's worrying. Doesn't matter. He's fainted now. Joker and Skull both got levels up. That's pretty nice. Sucker Punch. Ooh. Yes, we would definitely learn Sucker Punch. I know Joker is primarily a special attacker, but Sucker Punch just helps for coverage. It's also a really good priority move. Wow, you can feel the salt water just pouring out of her. I may proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. Is this going to be another Whitney situation? Where she just runs away and doesn't give you the badge? How? How can this be? Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge a champion. Thanks, Nessa. Are you going to shake my hand for 10 years as well? You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. Yep, she's going to shake my hand for 10 minutes too. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. Of up to... Okay. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next. As you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to battle you. My sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. I don't think sincere congratulations is a common term. Take this too, it's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Now that you have won the water badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon can go. Oh, it's this um, lovely individual who isn't obnoxious at all. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the champion's table. So you will not forget the chairman's space, I will give you one of his lead cards. I got Rose's lead card, okay. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the restaurant as soon as possible. Yes, we get it. Okay, I think I will go see Chairman Rose next episode and I'm curious to see what he wants. Um, but we'll have to find out next time. As ever, thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, uh, like this video, hit the bell if you want to stay up to date with my future uploads. With all that said, I'll see you guys next time.